Hey guys, yeah, it's pumpkin. Look how shiny. It's going to be a lot shinier. Hey, you know what? No. No, that's not it either. I like this theocratic method in which I pose a question and you try to answer it and are always wrong. Anyway, it is the last episode of the year. And we're still working on pumpkin. And this is episode number, is it seven? I think so. I'll have to get a chick flick teal pointer to help me out. But through my masterful deduction, I have just remembered if it is the last episode of the year, that means that it's the Christmas season and oop de doop and whatever else he said. Anyway, where was I? Um, did I wish every one of you a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holiday or a Happy whatever you got on your calendar on the 25th of the last month of the year. See, I'm very inclusive, but I wanted to make sure that you heard it from me to each one of you. Merry fracking Christmas. Yeah, those are drilling rigs. Yeah, those are pump jacks. My best to you. Now, that's enough garbage. Here's, what, here's what's going on. We did a lot of work on the snack. Now it's time to put it back on the body. And that's what this episode is about. There's a lot of things we're going to do. Uh, there's still a couple more episodes to come, but I want you to keep your focus. You're saying, I hear you. You're saying this episode can't be about putting the neck back on because the neck is back on already. And I'm saying, you know what? You... Do not alarm the other children during the holiday season. Yeah, that's way over there in oop de doop Because if you think that this neck is already on the guitar, well, then you probably think Santa Claus is going to bring you what you want for Christmas. No, probably not. Anyway, that said, <laughs> well, I can't believe you're still there. Yeah, you want to know how to put the neck back on this thing and line it up. That's the only reason you're here. That's why you tolerate me. But again, I will tell you, Merry Fracking Christmas. Now, let's get to the bench. All righty, I think we're going to start off the bench work here with this angle because you can see what's going to happen. We got enough room here. I want, I want to remind you that we put the yardstick on here to fool the body into thinking that the back is on. Because I've told you this a hundred times, I'll tell you a hundred more. This part of the body, if it flexes this way or this way, that means the neck angle is going to pitch this way or this way. So this much can turn into a nightmare. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this on here for now. And we're going to set this on here. And I'm kind of going to show you what I've done here. We put a lot of neck work into pumpkin. And as a review, we took off about a millimeter and a half right there at the heel. And drew a line from this part right up here down to there and then filed it and did what we need to do. Believe it or not, but taking off that much here affects the heel and all this wants to hang up and everything. So we're going to set this in here like so. And then the trick to this is before we get everything going, I, I want to show you this part right here, you see where that yardstick meets the neck right there? Do you see that? I can put something under there. I can put a spacer. I can clamp. I can do whatever I need to do to get this right. Now, 
Once I get this in here, I'm going to take a look at, of course, where everything meets the body. And this is what I'm telling you. I'm going to go over it once again. If I flex this this way like this, up and down, whatever I need to do, and that body is not stable at the bottom, what's going to happen is this neck can get all over the place. So here's the trick. We want to know, as always, where the 12th fret is. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's right here. Don't always depend on your memory to keep you honest. So we put a little piece of tape there. I can put a mark there. We're going to end up leveling these frets so we can take a magic marker or a Sharpie. And mark that. Now we want to know where the bridge is going to go. And that's just taking the same distance from the back of the knot to the 12th fret, which I already have a mark there, and then going from the 12th fret, the middle of the 12th fret, to the same spot here. And then we're going to I've got a really good setup over here now where everything is within my reach. I can just turn around. i got drawers with just about anything I need. So I'm going to take one of these bigger bridges here, one of these tunematic bridges, and set it there. Now, I, I want one that's full size here because what I need to do, I, I, I like this one. This color of this one goes better. I actually like the ones that float that have this, there's a little spacer in there. You want to watch out for that. That's why this is taped down. Those spacers fall off. Where on this one, watch it, don't scratch pumpkin. Um, where this one has these all these adjusters that, you know, you can turn this a little bit and tilt it like you would just a regular floating bridge without all this junk on the top. I don't really care for those. Uh, but whatever is going to help us set this bridge. So we set this here. Now you can tell. Let me find what I need here. I got a piece of tape here, but you can tell I can easily put a piece of paper underneath this bridge. So I'm going to have to, as time goes on here, I'm going to put a piece of 400 grit sandpaper here. And whatever bridge I'm going to use, I'm going to sand it to fit this arch top. That one actually fits better. Remember, we had a crack right here in this area right here uh, that got braced up underneath. But I'm going to sand that down. Now, here's the trick. I get this neck set about where I want it to be, like so. And again... If I have to put something underneath between the neck and the yardstick, I can do that. But then I'm going to take a straight edge, and the straight edge has got to be long enough to run down the entire length of the fingerboard. The nut is not on here. And we're going to see that this straight edge rides the top of the bridge. Now, it doesn't hurt me to have it, let me grab a different straight edge here, it's a little bit shorter. It doesn't hurt to have me end up with that a little bit below. I certainly don't want it way up here, and I certainly don't want it there. I want it somewhere in the middle. So when I start slapping the glue and the veneer shims in here to get this right, I want to be watching this very carefully, and I'm measuring this the entire time. I'm letting the hide glue set up. That right there looks pretty good. I'm about right there. Can you see that? I'm about right there on the bridge, and that's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and get the hide glue uh, on to this thing, and I'm going to have a good 15 to 20 minutes of set time in which I'm going to check this over and over. Another thing we want to take a look at here is if I run a straight edge down here and over here, 
you're right, that's where the tone bars are. And I put a piece of tape here and find the middle of that mark and make sure that this is lined up. I don't want the neck pitched this way or this way. So when I get the guitar done, I'm siding down the neck and I'm seeing it hook off to one side or another and that will kind of affect all this back here and mess everything up. So yeah, there is a little bit of rocket science on this $8 guitar. Okay, the angle is a little bit better. Let's reach into the wing can and get the love pencil out and we'll go we know that this is square. This is where the neck was. And we'll measure between those points. And it's 58. So half of 58 is what, guys? Du, 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 du. Yeah, 29. So we're going to put a mark here right at 29, like so. And then we're going to go to the neck of pumpkin, which... We cut off a fret, we sacrificed a fret, and it is, what do you know? It's exactly the same. So at 29, we will put a mark right there, and then when we're getting all the glue and everything in here, we're going to make sure that that mark lines up at 29 very important okay we've got everything marked off and we've got hot high glue there's nothing like hot high glue now we've scraped a lot and we want to get this part this is beveled down in here we want to put a copious come on guys copious and then this is going to bleed out a little bit over here Hot high glue, really important. Now, pay attention here. Gluing all this to the top of the guitar isn't going to matter. And putting a bunch of stuff on the back of the heel here, that's not going to matter. Where we want the glue is right where you see me putting it. Imagine that. Of course, I've got hot water. I've got a double bay hide glue heater because, yeah, I'm fortunate. I also have my Botox injection needle, so if they got any gaps once everything starts setting up. And remember, the nice thing about hide glue is say you completely blow it and you don't get the angle right or it shifts overnight because of your derelict babysitting, you can heat this up and have a go at it again. Here we go. Again, I don't need to worry about that being there. I'm going to get a piece of paper toweling. And wipe that off, that part right there. There we go. Now, let me give this one more shot here. Notice I'm not racing around like I'm using CA glue or something like that. I do want this to set up a little bit and get where it's kind of sticky like that right there. Whatever squeeze out I got, that's going to be okay. There we go. The moment of, remember, wide world of sports when the guy was skiing and they would be like, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. Okay, now I gotta put, I've got a couple pieces of wood ready. This yardstick is going to mess me up a little bit. So I'll put one here and one here. And then I'm just going to clamp this and babysit it for a while. You ready? The neck took. Go ahead and say it. Yeah, I know. 
anyway, the neck took. Um, we still have a yardstick on the back of pumpkin, so it thinks the back is still on. Now, looking ahead into the near future, I won't have you watch the painful details. If you need something um, or a reference to something, most of the stuff some of you have seen before, we are going to go ahead and put a bolt through the neck. We've already drilled a hole, and we're going to put a T-nut on the inside of the head block. And this will all be drilled out. I could just as well have put a dowel in there and glued it in, but I don't want to do that in case somebody wants to take the neck off of this in the future. So it'll run like so. Of course, that neck block, we know from having to pull this fret out right here that the neck block or, or the head block stops about right there. So there we go. Let's turn this around the right way. Now, I'm going to put a flat profile pickup on this thing, magnetic pickup. It goes underneath this cover, and I may take a piece of cigar box, like a Patron box, and raise this up just a little bit, and we'll see what that does. Of course, we are going to measure off and make sure the intonation spot is right for this tunematic bridge, and I have the holes drilled already over here for the potentiometers but you're saying oh dude they're on the wrong side they're supposed to be over here yeah this is going to be a left-handed guitar tammy is going to take pumpkin to school because tammy's left-handed and people will say oh i've never seen anything this unsightly or wonderful before depending on who they are we're going to go with some black hardware um, we've got the black tail piece here and you're going to see this come together. I'm going to pull all of this off, and we're going to put a magical finish on here that is kind of like a French polish. I've got some good stuff, and it will retain some of the, whatever this is, this crack that's been fixed and all that. Oh, I see Chick Flick Teal hiding under there. But notice that um, Chick Flick Teal pointer is, pretty active today and doing a great job even though he had to work on uh, the holiday weekend. Did I say he? I've never heard uh, Chick Flick Teal reveal the pronouns. <laughs> Alrighty then, back to you in the studio audience. All right, there it is. And remember, I keep telling you this. This yardstick being attached here and here is so, so important because if that's not there while you're doing all the repairs, the body doesn't know that it's just a flimsy collection of, I don't even think it's cardboard thin materials pasted together to make it into the Christmas catalog. So... Uh, next time, we are going to work a little bit more on the finish and get everything in order so we can put the back on. And a lot of stuff is easier to do with the back off than on, including some wiring and lining up of things or whatever. Now, we're starting to get into a lot of episodes, but the idea is, is I keyword the searches to where you can say... Uh, removing the neck from an arch top guitar, uh, gluing the neck back on, all kinds of wiring, things like that. So anybody besides you and only you, remember, now is not the time to be displaying your selfishness and other covetous type things because you won't be on the nice list then. Yeah, I'll tell you what even that little stuff that you've become accustomed to. That ain't okay either. But, in all seriousness, there's going to be another episode or two. Are you cussing me? Are you really cussing me? You're out there second-guessing me. You don't... Number one, you don't know what you're talking about or you wouldn't be watching me 
Either that or you're really, really bored. And I'll tell you something else. You should have respect for me because, yeah, I'm Ken. You saw the movie. I'm not Knuff. I'm Ken. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. I hope you're laughing or crying. Either way, I don't care. Just give me a like and a subscribe. I got to go put on my holiday seasons oop-de-oop -oop album again. See you soon.